the model woman, the model mother, the model person. This scripture can apply to men as well as women. Uh, we run to church, we run in, run out. Mother's Day, Father's Day, then there's special days. And we ought to honor our mother. Amen. And your daddy. Right. Amen. And uh, I, I'm one that believes in honoring them. Yeah. Because that's what the Bible said. Right. Amen. Amen. And my dad wasn't a Bible believer, but he believed in honoring your mother. Yeah. If some of you little brats would talk to my mama like you talk to your mama, my daddy would have knocked your teeth yeah. out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You're right. Yeah. Somebody said, with his fist, with his fist. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's an old mountain man, and there's two things you didn't do. You didn't backtalk him, and you didn't backtalk right. mama. Amen. <laughs> That's just what I, I, I did backtalk my daddy one time. Right. 16 years old, thought I was. He hit me, and when I woke up, and it's true, he hit me, knocked me across the floor, and I, I landed on my back with my back against the wall. He knocked me out, busted my nose, busted my mouth. I needed it. We'll call DHS. You better send the whole crowd if you're going to put my daddy in jail. Anyway, when I woke up, he's standing over top of me. He said, you got anything else to say? I said, no, sir, I don't. But we let kids buy with everything. We punish them by keeping them out of church. Yeah. Well, I just won't let you go. Where did that come from? Yeah. Boy, it's quiet. Come on, I'll come keep on. you out of church. What's wrong with you? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Take their iPad. Yeah. Take their cell phone. Right. See it. Amen. Yeah. Cut their privileges off. Yeah. Yeah. Take their TV away from them. Yeah. Come on. But don't take God away from them. Right. Don't take the church away right. from them. Now, I'm just going to read to you, and we'll let the Word of God do the talking. Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son, and what, the son of my womb, and what, the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women. Nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine. Nor for princes strong drink. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto them that is ready to perish. And wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Yeah. Now that's him talking to her yeah. Yeah. or her talking to him. Most writers believe that's Solomon. Lemuel is Solomon. About everybody believes that. Well, then he starts talking. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. I guess the Hollywood wives didn't get a hold of that. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. 
Isn't it amazing how you just read this and you get a conviction? Yeah. Oh, it's not brought any conviction yet? It will. She considereth a field and buyeth it. We're talking about this model woman. With the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth, strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She's not stingy. She's a giver. Yeah. Amen. Yep. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gate. He's not known for being such a sorry thing. He's not known for being a wicked man. He's known for being a good man. Hello. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sitteth among the elders of the land, she maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of everybody else's house. Her house. She don't stick her nose in everybody's business. But she looketh well to the way of her household. And eateth not the bread of idleness. She don't just sit around on the phone and gossip. Or hurt somebody. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Blessed. Her husband also and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously but thou excellest them all. What a testimony. Favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. Boy, you ought to see my hot wife. They're, they're more intrigued by how hot she is than what kind of wife she is. They're more intrigued by her body and her beauty than they are her blessedness and her walk with the Lord. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates Warren Wiersbe as I said a few minutes ago and I'll talk to you about the model woman I've got about ever how long I need but Warren Wiersbe said there's no doubt that this is probably Solomon and I don't have a problem with that he identifies this Lemuel and the name means one who has a relationship with the Almighty God. I wonder where his relationship come from with the Almighty God. In verse number one, the Bible said the words of the king Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. You know what she done? She set him down and taught him the word of God. Look up here a minute. How many times have you ever sat down with your children, with your grandchildren, with your family, and you read them the word of God? Yeah. My mama wasn't much, didn't have no money. She died with $300 in the bank. She didn't have no things that you could say, boy, look what I achieved. But I've got something laying in my little fireplace. It's called a family Bible. Right. Yeah. Brown. It's brown. And my mama would set us down and she'd open that big old brown family Bible. When I was growing up, I thought it was that long when it opened. And she'd start reading that thing in the book of Genesis. And she'd say, I don't understand it all, but I believe it all. And she'd say, son, this is the King James Bible. Come on. 
And my mama said, I believe that's the word of God. This, this yeah. speaks to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Right. You know what this woman did with her son? She told him the word of God. Right. Put character in him. Right. Put good conduct yeah. right. in him. My grandson got some awards the other night. And I was more pleased. He got a lot of, a lot of awards. They just kept calling his name. But when they gave him Mr. Dragon, the character award out of 60 kids, yeah. they said, he says, please excuse me, so on and so forth, helps others. And he got the character award. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You know how many kids got it? You know when kids got character? Now, there ain't many of them. They're a bunch of little punks. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you know why they are? Because we trained them that way. Man. You know why they can't lie and cuss and cheat and kick and fight and carry on? Because you're not a man. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't care. I don't care how you look at me. You ought to be a man and raise your kids right. Yeah. Amen. And you ought, to, you ought to take care of your wife and you ought to let your wife raise your children right. Yeah. Amen. That is what this model mother is doing is raising her kids right. right. Amen. There's certain places they don't need to go. There's certain things they don't need to watch. That's right. Amen, right. preacher. Just keep preaching. It'll catch hold. The model woman. I want to look first of all at the worth. What is she worth? Well, in verse number 12, the Bible, or verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. Her worth is bound up in her character. She has virtue. The word virtue means strength and honor, and valor, and standards. Yeah. 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 Amen? Amen. Let me, can I just say this real quick while I'm, while I'm passing this thing about virtue? Virtue? There, there's not many women got virtue anymore. Right. Come on. They dress so other men right. would lust after them. Yeah. Amen. Right. That's not virtue. Right. By the way, if you're married and you got a man, you do that at your house with him, not everybody else. Amen. 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 If it ain't for sale, that's right. Come on. Right. Come on. Most things I know for sale, they advertise them in the window. If you ain't for sale, don't advertise yourself. Not getting them in that. Let me tell you what virtue is. Virtue is standards. Virtue says I'm married. I've got a man. Leave me alone. I go to my husband. Leave me. Somebody say amen to me. I'm talking about real Bible worth. What are they worth? I'm going to tell you something. We're raising a bunch of floozies. They put on as little clothes as they yeah. can. Right. Yeah. And they parade their self. You know what? They learned it. Yeah. They learned it from their mama. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Ed Blue said one time, I was, he said, I was going on vacation with this couple. And Ed said this. I did. Ed said, I was riding down the road. And he said, I had my big Cadillac. And all of a sudden, the Cadillac went sideways. And he said, I looked in the rear view mirror and he said, that woman was in the back changing and putting on a bathing suit. And he said, that bathing suit was not big enough. You couldn't even want a shotgun shell with the clothes. <laughs> and he said, I said to her, why are you doing that? She said, we just crossed the state line. In other words, when I get out away from my family and away from everybody else, I can dress the way I want to, act the way. This woman in Proverbs 31 was not like that. She did not do that. Her, her worth was found in her virtue, and her worth was found in her value. The Bible said her price is far above ruby. You can't buy what this woman's got. Little girls grow up hunting a sugar daddy. Yeah. Let me, rhyme, let me tell you something about a sugar daddy. If he bought you, he'll buy him another one. Amen. 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 Say amen to me. Now, you amen. wanted me to preach, so here we go, Mama. Amen. 
I'm talking about the model woman. Her worth is bound up in her character. She had some character. Thank God for women with character. Amen. My mother had character. I'll tell you that. My, my wife said she's one of the best women I've ever met in my life. And that's a lot because my wife has met a lot. She said that's one of the best women I've ever known. In three and a half years living with me, you ask my wife, not one time in three and a half years did she ever say one thing bad about anybody, pro or con. She never did that. She had what we call character. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, reputation's what people think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Character is what they know you are when you, when you get in a situation that makes you want to get upset. Amen. See, you never know what's in a tea bag. You stick it in hot water. Right. Amen. 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 Her worth is found in her character. Her worth is found in her commitment. Look at verse 11. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. He can get up and go to work and don't have to worry about blowing every dime they've got. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know why some men work two jobs? Because the wife's spending every dime they got on everything she wants. Amen. This woman is not like that. She was committed. Her husband, am I doing okay? Her husband doeth safely trust in her yeah. so that he shall have no need of spoil. The husband can trust her fidelity. She ain't going to be on the phone with some man. She ain't going to be texting with some guy. Hello. If a lady texts me or calls me, I get my phone and I say to my wife, she's wanting me to call her, I'm going to call, okay? I let her know. You know what? That's the right thing to do. She does me the same way. That's right. It's called fidelity. You ain't got no business talking to some man if you're married to somebody else or you're committed to somebody else. You have no business doing that. Can I get an amen? I'm talking about the model, the model woman. Right. Got right. fidelity. Right. Some of these women you can't trust them far as you can throw them, and that ain't far. Amen. She's committed. Her husband, her husband trusts her fidelity. Her husband trusts her marital fidelity, but he trusts is the monetary fidelity. I can't get my wife to buy nothing. I have to make her mad. It's true. And everywhere she said, let's go shopping. I said, okay. So we wind up at Goodwill or Carm. Or, but that's my place. That's my thing. I enjoy that. I, these shoes I got on, they came from a rummage sale. Somebody say, man, that brand new. I, I'm not running out there and paying $300 for them shoes when I can get them for about $10. Somebody say, man, that. So I don't have to worry about my wife spending every dime that I've got. And lady, if you're a real lady of God, you would stop doing that. Yeah. Quit putting your husband in debt. Amen. Preach, preacher, yeah. preach. Yeah. I'm talking about marital fidelity, monetary fidelity. <laughs> her worth is seen in her character. Her worth is seen in her commitment. Her worth is seen in her consistency. Yeah. 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 Look at verse 12. She'll do him good and not evil. All the days right. of her life. Yeah. Amen. You know what the Bible just said? She is consistent. Now, it's one thing to come in here and hold his hand. Right. Yeah. Most couples pull in the parking lot, fussing and fight like a bunch of dogs and cats. Amen. Slapping the kids in the back seat. They're crying and snots running down their nose and you've just cussed them out and cussed each other out. You pull in the parking lot and it's like, oh, oh. got them tears up. Hallelujah, we're in the house of God now. Praise God. Hallelujah, we, did, well, we need to go in here and work. Let's get our worship on now, kids. You be good now. She is consistent. She lives right at home. She lives right at the house. She lives right on the job where she works. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Guy called me one time and said, I'm dating this girl and she's going on vacation with another guy. What do you think? I said, that'd be the last date I ever had with her. Amen. What do you think? Yeah. You're going to ask me something stupid like that? How dumb are you? Yeah. 
You're going to date somebody that goes on a vacation with another guy? Something is wrong with her character. Something is wrong with her consistency. You want to talk about the worth of a model woman? She's got character. She's consistent. I'm just giving you Bible. There's a positive aspect in how she treats her husband. The Bible says she does him good. Can I just preach right here a minute? Because I got three more points. Can I preach right here one minute? If you go out to eat with my wife and all she does is dog me at the table and run me down and talk about me like I'm some kind of dog, what do you think it's going to do to you to come back in this church and sit under me while I preach? Amen. Well, he don't need to be preaching that. You know why? Because his wife told me I know all about that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's Mother's Day, so I'm preaching to women right now. <laughs> Father's Day will come around. The Bible said she'd do him good. Yeah. The Bible said she'd do him good. How long? All the days of her life. I need you to watch it. There ain't nobody listening to me, are you? There's a positive aspect on how she treats her husband. It's good. It's beautiful. It's best. It's bountiful. She's cheerful. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I seen him go. She's cheerful. She's pleasant. The word good means she's joyful. <laughs> kind. You want me to quit reading these meanings of this word? She's loving. She's merry. She's pleasant. She's pleasing. She's sweet. People say it women come to church. People say, boy, that's the sweetest lady I ever met in my life. And that guy's like, <laughs> y'all live with her. Got to listen to her of a morning. Now somebody talk to me. I'm talking about the worth of the model woman. The worth. She's persistent. She's going to do it all the days of her life. It's not merely once a month or once a year, twice a year, or when they've got company or when uh, things are not going well, but in sickness, in adversity, in old age, in every problem they have, in financial trouble, she still does him good all the days of her life. That is the worth of a model woman. Let me skip this one. I'll give it to you and skip it. There's the work of the model woman. Most women think they're entitled. Now, I'm going to tell you what I believe. I believe man ought to be the breadwinner in the house. Amen. Man ought to be breadwinner. Man ought to get up every day, put his boots on, go to work. Amen. Amen. Preach it. Rodney's his men set mid seventies still working. Ain't no excuse some of these punks around here not working. Amen. 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 Preacher, let her Amen. 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 I believe in work, don't you? Amen. Yeah. I had COVID and worked three of them in the ground. Yeah. When I, right after I got out of COVID, Amen. we went and done a little job and I worked three of them in the ground. And I was sicker than a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Work, 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 yeah. work. Yeah. Work, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. Work. Get up, go to work, take care of your family Amen. like the Bible said you ought yeah. to. And if you don't, you're worse than an infidel. Amen. And if you ain't going to work, the Bible said you should not eat. Amen. Come on. Well, it's going to get quite people going to leave my church over this. Amen. Right. But I'm telling you, if he is going to get up and go to work, yeah. Come on. this model woman is known by her work. If you look at verse 13, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willing with her hands. If he's going to get up and go to work, he don't need to come home and do the housework too. Amen. Preach. Y'all listen to me. He don't need to come home and do the housework. Well, you don't understand, man. I had to get up at 930 this morning. And I got to deal with that kid all day long. <laughs> you know how most of y'all deal with your kids? You give them this thing right here and that baby sits them all day until they get hungry and then you've got little snacks that you pop in the microwave because you don't want to cook. 
That's right, preacher. Just be, this woman, this model woman, is known by her worth and her work. Yeah. Amen. 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 Good <laughs> yeah, it is good preaching. Her decision to work, she just decides one day, I'm going to take care of the house. Yeah. Bible told a woman to be a keeper Amen. Yeah. Amen. at the house. I help my wife. I'll say to my wife, you need me to vacuum? She'll say, no, I got it, and I'll do it anyway. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I help her. Yeah. But if I'm outside doing something, need me to help you? I said, no, I got it. She'll help me anyway. She Amen. tries. Yeah. She tries. She tries. A decision to work. You make up your mind. I, I just was preaching on this point while I'm here, I guess. Amen. You need to teach these little girls to work. They need to know how to wash a dish. They need to know how to sweep. They need to know how to make a bed. Somebody say amen to me. They need to know how to do that. They need to know how to cook. They need to know how to take care of somebody. And they'll learn it from you, mama. Amen. The worth of that, the work of that model woman. She had a decision to work and she had a dedication. She's very involved in the grocery part. Yeah. Yeah. She gets good deals, mm -hmm. clips coupons. Because yeah. she knows y'all struggle. Yeah. She finds the best deals. That's what this woman is. Y'all yeah. listen? Takes a lot of work to do that. She's out doing that. Verse 14, 15. She's like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She goes and gets it, gets good deals. Take care of the husband. And she'll say, honey, I saved $15. He goes, whoa! Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen, Brother Dwayne. Yeah. Brother Dwayne just grinning. Man, you, you don't believe what I saved on that meat right there. And he's like, yeah, baby, you go. <laughs> That's what she does. She works at it. Amen. She knows how to fix macaroni and cheese and make it last. Spread it out. I'm just telling you, she works. The worth of that woman is saw in, in her worth. Uh, that model woman, she's worth something. She works. And... Then there's the way of that model woman. Listen to this. She is supportive about the way she lives her life. She supports it. Hey, it's hard to have a relationship when all you do is fight about everything. I know some of y'all ain't. I, I mean, I know some of y'all. You've got the perfect marriage. I mean, I'm glad you do. I really am glad you do. And there's never a cross word and you never fuss about nothing. And I watched my mother more times than once stand in my big daddy's face. You know why? Because my big strong daddy was beating us kids up when he got drunk. Mama didn't run high behind the couch. Mama would stand in his face. You know what she's doing? She's been supportive of him even though he didn't know it. Yeah. Amen. I asked him one time, Brother Ben, I said, why, as mean as you are and as big a drunk as you've been, why have you never touched my mama? He said, well, son, it's like this. She told me if I ever got drunk and touched her, when I went to sleep, she'd sew me up in the sheets uh. <laughs> and take a frying pan and bust my head. Uh. And I believed her. That's a pretty good support system. Amen. Amen. Support them in things that are right. And even move them in the right direction when they're wrong. Can I get an amen? You can help. You can pray about things. I'll, I'll tell you this. You'd do a lot better off praying for them and support them that way than you would nagging them all the time. Nagging them, all you're going to do is push them further into it. Why don't you support them? You look here what the Bible said. The Bible, she, she supports them the way she supports. Notice, if you will, the Bible said this in verse 20. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She has a supportive way about her, and she lets her husband know we're going to help somebody else. We're going to support somebody else. Amen. 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 She supports the hungry, supports the household. She has a style about her. Look at, look at your Bible. She maketh herself coverings. Yeah. <laughs> How many preachers you hear preaching on that nowadays? 
Can I read that again? I'm talking about the way of the model woman. She's supportive and she has style. There's nothing, about, there's nothing stylish about a woman showing off her body. Man, it's quiet. I'm talking about style. Look, look what the Bible said. The Bible said she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. The verse mentions her style in her decorating. She's pretty. She's pretty. She makes herself look good. I love it. I love watching my wife get ready for church or for a date when we're going out. Me and her still date. Yeah. Hey, we still date. If you don't date with yours, somebody will. It's quiet. I knew it was going to go this way. You, you need, I'm going to tell you something. You need to date them, love on them. Yeah. That's how you got them. Won't you start doing it again? Amen. Amen. But she's got style. I love watching her get ready, and she'll say to me, "How's my hair look?" Yeah. Beautiful. I don't lie to her. No, you men say, "Wow, you look beautiful," and you're in your head, you're going, "God, that stringy mop." <laughs> and I say to her, I say, "Turn around." She'll turn around, and I'll take a little brush and I'll fix it a little bit for her. So that looks really good. That's, yeah. that's pretty. Then she jumps out in her dress. You go, how's that look? And you're like, <laughs> pretty? <laughs> but I tell her she's stylish. She looks good. She dresses like a lady. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm talking. Listen, I'm talking about the way of this woman. She's supported. She's got style. And by the way, do you know what your Bible said in First Timothy two nine that a woman should adorn herself in modest. Come on, preach it. Apparel. I mean, I'm still in the King James Bible. Yeah, modest yeah. apparel. You can turn over and read it, would you? First Timothy 2, 9, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided, braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. She is to be stylish and look like a Bible lady. Amen. Amen. Somebody Amen. said, what does that mean? Well, the word adorn means you to be proper. Okay, hey, if you'll go over, I'll break his words down for you. The word adorn means you're to dress proper. Amen. Not only dress proper, but then it said, and be modest. That means pleasing. Yeah. Not to everybody else. But does your husband approve of it? Yeah. And what is his approval based on? I'm just preaching the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Modest apparel with shame facedness. In other words, that word means downcast. Mm -hmm. That word shame facedness means downcast. In other words, she don't parade it because she's got it. Right. Amen. Whoop. Right. Hello, look up here a minute, ladies. That's, right. That's for your husband. Amen. Y'all hadn't heard this in a while, have you? <laughs> Shame facedness. She pre-arranges herself to where, listen to this, she's proper, she's pleasing, and she pre-arranges herself so when she goes out, it's pleasing to her husband. Amen. I'm still in the Bible. Yep. And she does it with sobriety. In other words, she's prudent, she's careful, she's in control. She don't give a man a reason to whistle at her. Amen. Amen. You little girls want a guy? Start showing your cleavage. Yeah. Start dressing tight as you can wear them. Yeah. 
But that guy that you get like that, he ain't worth having. Amen. Because as soon as he sees another one dressed like that, I'm doing good, ain't I? I'm talking about the worth of this model woman, the work and then the way of this model woman. Her strength is reflected in the fact that she loves God and she loves her husband and her family. Amen. She don't want to be a model. She wants to be a mama. Yeah. I know everybody going to sleep on this, but I'm going to finish. There's the worth of that woman, the work of that woman, the way, and then there's the wisdom of this model woman. Her wisdom is accompanied. Look at verse 26. She openeth her mouth. You looking at that verse? You got your Bible up? She opens her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. She has a discerning knowledge about the words that she says. She don't just run her mouth. Her words have a discerning knowledge and her words have a definite kindness. There's wisdom accompanied in her words. There's wisdom in the way she's aware. Look at verse 27. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. There's an awareness in how she watches over her house. I'll tell you one thing. I got a little nest on my light. They come every year. I don't tear the bird nest down because they come every year. And that bird comes in every year and she's got a bunch of babies in it right now. And the mama flew in there the other day and I walked up the ramp and I up that ramp and that mama come out of that nest. You know what she done? I ain't got much hair, but she got in it. She's like, <laughs> flogging me around. She don't want me around her kids. I was a predator. Hello? You better be careful. You better take care of your household. You better have enough wisdom. Let me tell you something. You better have wisdom who you let them go home with. Because some guy be raping your little daughter. Somebody be great. Some guy be raping your little boy. I'm doing good, ain't I? Praise Amen. God. I'm talking about the wisdom of that model woman. Yeah. By the way, sir, if you listen, sometimes she's a whole lot smarter than you are. Amen. I know you don't like that. They're a little smarter than we give them credit for. Amen. Then after you go ahead and do it, yeah. Come on. you mess up, they say, well, try to take. Have some wisdom when you do that because you're liable to hurt his feelings. He's got a big ego. <laughs> Amen. I'm preaching right. You know I am. Her wisdom is accompanied. She's aware of it, but her wisdom is admired. It's admired as a mother. I had a little girl in Louisiana. How old's truly? 10, 11? When my mama died, truly wrote me a letter all the way from Oakdale, Louisiana. I got, now listen to this, the day before I got a letter, it cussed me out and called me everything but a white man, a narcissist. It called me words in that letter and I shredded it. Didn't need to keep that one. Then the next day I get a letter in the mail from this little girl named Truly. And she said, had it wrote to me and had it wrote to her. And she said, Preacher Wayne, I want to come stay with you in Tennessee. Then it come down to her and it said, Miss Mary, I love you and you've been such a blessing to me. What you're doing is rubbing off on somebody. Amen. I wonder if they'd want a mama like you. She's admired as a mother. She's admired as a mate. All her husband can do is praise her. All he does is talk about how, what a good wife she is, what a good woman she is. Hello. Man, it's quiet. Holy moly. She's admired as a model. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you top them all. Favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her. Give her what she earned. Give her what's coming to her. Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Yeah. That's the model woman. That's the model mother. Amen. Let's bow our heads. 
why we stand our feet. Ladies, I encourage you to be the model mom, to be the model wife, to be the model woman. If you're not married, then you be that model woman. You be that godly woman. You be that one that's got style, that loves her children and her husband. Amen. Maybe God spoke to your heart about something today and maybe showed you wasn't saved. Maybe showed you never not born again. Maybe he showed you, preacher, I am saved, but boy, I sure ain't living like I need to. My kids sure don't see a godly mama. But that's between you and the Lord. I done my job. I preached it. What do they see when they see you? Some's here praying. You know what the sad thing is? You preach, you blue in the face, and some people ain't never going to move because they right. They right. Do right by the word of God, and God will bless you for it. Father, thank you for being so good to us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you, Lord, that we, in a day that we live, we can still preach the book. And there's still some people that love the word of God. Yes. I thank you today, Lord, for these ladies at our church. Yes. We ain't perfect. They're not perfect. But they're good ladies, and they're trying. They're learning. They're growing. God, what a blessing they are. There's a lot of good leadership in ladies in this church. Help them be a better mom than they've ever been, a better wife than they've ever been. Help them to be a better woman than they've ever been for your honor and your glory. Bless our church. Use it for your advancement of the kingdom. See sinners get saved by your grace, and we'll praise you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, we got some gifts for the mothers. Is that right? So, before y'all leave today, how you going to do that? You going to let them come up and get them? Or? Okay. All right, do what? Hey, all right, let's do that. Where's Miles at? Hey, Miles, are you waking up? Come here and get your mama one of these and give it to her, and you can show them how to do it. He's not going to come. Sadie will come. Say, you don't want to come get one for your mom and your mama? Come on, Noah, let, look here. He'll show them. Come get one for your mama and one for Mimi. One each. Now take another one. There's the way you do it. Just take two, not three. You only got two. Take two. Happy married, Brother Keith. 